Judges chapter 1. And it was after the death of Yehoshua that the children of Yisrael asked of Yahweh, saying, Who shall go up for us first against the Canaanim to fight against them? And Yahweh said, Yehuda shall go up. Behold, I have delivered the land into his hand. And Yehuda said to Shimon his brother, Come up with me into my lot, that we may fight against the Canaanim, and I likewise will go with thee into thy lot. So Shimon went with him. And Yehuda went up, and Yahweh delivered the Canaanim and the Perizim into their hand, and they smote of them in Bezek. Ten thousand men, and they found Adoni Bezek in Bezek, and they fought against him, and they smote the Knaanim and the Perizim. But Adoni Bezek fled, and they pursued after him, and caught him, and cut off his thumbs and his great toes. And Adoni Bezek said, Seventy kings having their thumbs and their great toes cut off, gathered their food under my table. As I have done, so God hath requited me. And they brought him to Yerushalem, and he died there. And the children of Yehuda fought against Yerushalem, and took it, and smote it with the edge of the sword, and set the city on fire. And afterward, the children of Yehuda went down to fight against the Canaanim that dwelt in the hill country, and in the south, and in the lowland. And Yehuda went against the Canaanim that dwelt in Hebron. Now the name of Hebron before time was Qiryata Araba'ah. And they smote Sheshai and Achiman and Talmai, and from thence he went against the inhabitants of Devir. Now the name of Devir before time was Qiryat Sefer. And Caleb said, He that smiteth Qiryat Sefer and taketh it, to him will I give Aksa, my daughter, for a woman. And Othniel, the son of Qanaz, Caleb's younger brother took it, and he gave him Aksa, his daughter, for a woman. And it was, when she came to him, that she moved him to ask of her father a field, and she alighted from off her donkey. And Caleb said to her, What wouldst thou? And she said to him, Give me a blessing for that thou hast set me in the land of the south, give me also springs of water. And Caleb gave her the upper springs and the nether springs. And the children of the Qeni, Moshe's brother-in-law, went up out of the city of palm trees with the children of Yehuda into the wilderness of Yehuda, which is in the south of Arad. And they went and dwelt with the people. And Yehuda went with Shimon his brother, and they smote the Canaanim that inhabited Zephath, and devoted it. And the name of the city was called Hormah. Also Yehuda took Gaza with the border thereof, and Ashkelon with the border thereof, and Akron with the border thereof. And Yahweh was with Yehuda, and Yehuda dispossessed the hill country, but was not to be dispossessing the inhabitants of the valley, because they had chariots of iron. And they gave Hebron to Caleb, as Moshe had spoken, and he drove out thence the three sons of Anak, and the children of Binyamin did not drive out the Yebusim that inhabited Yerushalem, but the Yebusim dwell with the children of Binyamin 
in Yerushalayim to this day. And the house of Yosef, they also went up against Bethel, and Yahweh was with them. And the house of Yosef sent to spy out Bethel. Now the name of the city before time was Luz. And the watchers saw a man come forth out of the city, and they said to him, Show us, we pray thee, the entrance into the city, and we will deal kindly with thee. And he showed them the entrance into the city, and they smote the city with the edge of the sword, but they let the man go, and all his family. And the man went into the land of the Hittim, and built a city, and called the name thereof Luz, which is the name thereof to this day. And Manasseh did not drive out the inhabitants of Beth Shan and its towns, nor of Taanach and its towns, nor the inhabitants of Dor and its towns, nor the inhabitants of Ivleam and its towns, nor the inhabitants of Megiddo and its towns, but the Canaanim would dwell in that land. And it was when Yishrael became strong that they put the Canaanim to task work and did not utterly drive them out. And Ephraim drove not out the Canaanim that dwelt in Gezer, but the Canaanim dwelt in Gezer among them. Zebulun drove not out the inhabitants of Kitron, nor the inhabitants of Nahalol, but the Knaanim dwelt among them and became subject to task work. Asher drove not out the inhabitants of Akkor, nor the inhabitants of Didon, nor of Akhlab, nor of Akzib, nor of Helba, nor of Afiq, nor of Rehob. But the Asherim dwelt among the Canaanim, the inhabitants of the land, for they did not drive them out. Naphtali drove not out the inhabitants of Beth Shemesh, nor the inhabitants of Beth Anath, but he dwelt among the Canaanim, the inhabitants of the land. Nevertheless, the inhabitants of Beth Shemesh and of Beth Anath became subject to task work. And the Amorim forced the children of Dan into the hill country, for they would not give him to come down to the valley. But the Amorim would dwell in Mount Heres, in Ayalon, and in Shalbim. Yet the hand of the house of Yosef prevailed, so that they became subject to task work. And the border of the Amorim was from the ascent of Akrabim, from the rock and upward.